2024 was a pivotal year for Well Health Technologies, with many acquisitions and strong execution driving the stock up 78%. Now, from expanding its clinic network to advancing healthcare technology, Well had a standout year. And we're joined by CEO Hamid Shabazi to discuss these achievements and the company's growing momentum. It is so great to see you again, Hamid. Great to see you as well, Brandy. Thanks for making the time. Well, first, Well seems to be only getting busier with growth and its rapid pace of acquisitions. So can you first share some of the recent achievements from 2024 and even 2025 thus far? Yeah, 2024 um, was uh, a, a quite a pivotal year for us. I think it's it's the year where we be able, we were able to demonstrate significant improvements in our free cash flow, which um, was critical because it allowed us to do a lot of interesting things, which is uh, to to continue our M and A program and actually step it up. It allowed us to buy stock back, so we actually started a stock buyback uh, program in a in March uh, of of 24 and we purchased about ten thousand dollars a day all throughout the year all through through to the end of the year um and we got some really important projects over the line uh for example we uh became walmart's uh canada's uh, operating partner um we were able to acquire the assets of a publicly traded company uh who uh was carrying out uh those operations and had built out a network um at walmart um, we were able to continue our absorption program. Um, we uh, were really talking about some of parts value it well and how we felt that, um, you know, we needed to realize and demonstrate the value of some of our parts. So a major project that we had was to uh, demonstrate that our tech platform um, was likely a bit mispriced from a market perspective. And we were able to uh, take investment directly into our technology platform, which we've now renamed as Wellstar as part of a spin out initiative where Wellstar will be a uh, its own publicly traded company that will be majority owned by Well. Um, and so uh, uh, and, and look, I think we po we posted our best quarter pretty much in, 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 in every metric you can you can think of uh, as our last reported quarter, which was Q3 2024. So um and, and and I think all of that uh, was demonstrative of of you know the focus of management to create shareholder value and uh, uh, and I think we started to get some people to notice by the end of the year. What a great year! You know AI continues to be a transformative force in healthcare. We are seeing a lot more AI technology these days. So how is Healwell using AI to improve patient care and provider efficiency? Yeah, uh, Well is a is a significant investor in Healwell and. One of the reasons why we did that is to is to establish the strategic alliance where we could benefit from the best in class AI that they do have. They are powering the decision support or or physician co-pilots that Well is using. So, um, look a, a, as well, we are um, on a mission to tech enable healthcare providers. So I can't think of any technology more important than AI right now, because, you know, in healthcare, you have a significant amount of data, a significant amount of complexity. And what AI does a really good job of is simplifying that and, 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 and understanding what's important, and what's not important. Um, this is probably one of the most important overlooked aspects of AI. And to be able to then provide that uh, support to physicians in a way that, that was never before available is, is really truly a game changer. We're starting to see, orders of magnitude improvements in, in efficiency uh, with, with, with physicians as they use products like uh, our Well AI Voice or Well AI Decision Support, which is powered by HealWell. Um, and and HealWell, you know, was able to demonstrate that they are without a doubt one of the most um, capable AI teams in the world by virtue of the number of of uh, peer-reviewed publications that they that they had published, uh, demonstrating that their that their AI, their their large language models, their generative AI, their symbolic AI capabilities were all able to do a number of important things, like detect rare cancers and stage uh, determine the stage of cancers more effectively and efficiently than 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 uh, uh, clinical practice uh, provides for uh, uh, traditionally. So. You know, I think we're in the dawn of a an incredible time where we're, you know, we know that healthcare is burdened significantly by administrative requirements, and we know that there's not enough primary care providers out there. 
And so we need to amplify the ones that we do have and make them more capable uh, and and uh, performant. And I think AI is really starting to shape up to be a big force from that perspective. And well is all over that trend. I mean, I can't think of another company that has invested in, uh, uh, developed and really commercialized and popularized and distributed more AI based solutions that are being used in, in, in commercial practice today than, than, than well health. And from a patient perspective, that simplification, I'm sure for a lot of patients is also a very much appreciated. CEO Hamid Shabazi, thank you so much for your time today. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thanks for the questions.